After the 2014 Royal Rumble, so many of you were pissed, and frankly, rightfully so, about the fact that not only did Daniel Bryan not win that year's Royal Rumble, the WWE didn't even put him in the damn match. You took to social media, you took to the interwebs, you let your anger and frustration be known. You started a movement. You sit there and started talking about hijacking Raws and throwing a bitch and pitching a fit until the WWE gave you what you wanted, what you felt was the right thing to do, and eventually you got it. Daniel Bryan in the main event of WrestleMania 30. He wins the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and it's a happy ending for all. And now again, the 2015 Royal Rumble. At least this time, the WWE bothered to put him in the Royal Rumble match, even though I don't know why. They should have been smart enough to know what type of environment they were creating. But they put your guy, your hero, in that match, and eliminated him early like it was no big freaking deal. He wasn't even a factor. He wasn't even a part of the equation. And again, so many of you sat there and said, well, if it wasn't going to be Daniel Bryan, at least let it be Dolph Ziggler. He also was in that match and also a non-factor. So you took to social media, you took to the interwebs to try and start another movement, cancel WWE Network, never watch it again, never give him any of my money, and all this other crap. And now here we are on the road to WrestleMania 31. And I look at Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler, and I in particular look at you, the Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler fans, and I'm asking myself, where the fuck are you? Why the hell aren't you upset? Where's your anger? And where's your outrage now? Because if you ever had a time to be angered and outraged, this would have been the time to do so. If there was ever a time for you to pitch a fit or throw a bitch about this, now would be a good time to step up to the plate and do so. Why in the fuck is it? that somebody that's not a fan of Daniel Bryan or Dolph Ziggler, myself, having to come on here and extol the virtues of Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler. Why is it me, of all people, that is calling you out, the Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler fans, and wondering why the fuck you're not more upset about what's going on with these two heading into WrestleMania 31? Why am I the one that's the voice of reason here? Why am I having to come on here and try and talk some sense into you fucks? Seriously. You guys are absent. Where the hell is the anger? Where the hell is the outrage? So let me get this straight. You've got the guy that main evented your biggest show of the year last year, the former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, mind you, and Daniel Bryan, one of the arguably, if not even arguably, most over guys you have in the WWE today, the guy that gets perhaps a more unanimous, clear-cut, true babyface reaction than anybody else on the roster. People like this guy. They're behind this guy. So you figure the best way to feature him, the best way to go with his star power, the best way to utilize him at WrestleMania is to make him an afterthought in a crappy IC title ladder match to the point where Daniel Bryan is no more than a throw-in and is playing second fiddle to the IC champion who himself is jobbing out in every freaking match that he's involved in with Wade Barrett. Daniel Bryan is playing second fiddle to Wade Barrett. Yet there's no anger. There's no outrage. It's like you have accepted it. It's like you're okay with it. You are dealing with the fact that this is Daniel Bryan's current plight. This is your plot in life. And by God, you're going to try and make the most of it. And then you look at Dolph Ziggler. The guy who ended up getting the victory for Team Cena at Survivor Series who was, again, a non-factor at the Royal Rumble, so why in the fuck ever put him in that position to begin with that Survivor Series, but I digress. Now we get here to WrestleMania 31, and he, just like Daniel Bryan, is being thrown into this IC title ladder match at WrestleMania 31 as a clear-cut second fiddle. He's taking a backseat to freaking our truth to the point where the only individual that I have any desire of seeing walking out of WrestleMania 31, the IC champion, is our fucking truth. Dolph Ziggler is playing second fiddle to our truth. He's taking a backseat to this guy. The guy who's most known recently for ending Bo Dallas' undefeated streak, and that's about it. Our truth doesn't fucking matter in the grand scheme of things. Yet Dolph Ziggler is playing second banana to him. He's taking a backseat to him. And yet so many of you are okay with this now. So many of you are trying to justify this now. Well, ding dong, dumb dicks, this is fucking stupid. And why in the hell do I have to come out here and tell you just how ridiculous and stupid this is going to be? Oh, let me guess. 
It's going to be a great encounter at WrestleMania 31. There's going to be all types of flips and kicks and bumps and high spots. And it's going to involve Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler. And that automatically makes it awesome. And we're going to make the most of it. No, that's fucking stupid. It's not always about the match and the match quality, you fucks. It's not. You should be angry, if anything else, that Dolph Ziggler, a guy, again, who main event in Survivor Series and won the fucking match with the help of Sting, is being relegated to a third-tier performer. You should be upset about the fact, not so much that Daniel Bryan isn't in the main event of WrestleMania 31, that's a point you want to argue whatever fuck off. But the bigger thing you should be angry about is the fact that this company values Daniel Bryan so much that he is playing second fiddle to the meaningless IC champion Wade Barrett, meaning the WWE didn't have anything planned for him, meaning they didn't bother enough to give him a featured spotlighted match come WrestleMania. They made sure to do that with John Cena. They made sure to do that with the new golden boy, Roman Reigns. They made sure to do that with freaking Randy Orton. They made sure to do that with Triple H. They made sure, hell, they even do that with Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt! is a more featured, important part of WrestleMania 31 than the guy who main evented the damn show last year. The guy who couldn't even beat John Cena now gets a feature match against The Undertaker where Daniel Bryan is sitting there farting and blowing in the breeze in a meaningless IC title match where, again, he's playing second fiddle to the jobber IC champion. The WWE didn't even care. They didn't even bother to have anything important for him. And now you're trying to sit there and justify this bullshit? You're trying to sit there and excuse this bullshit? No! What's next? You're going to tell me, Oh, Sheamus came out and broke kicked him. That'd be awesome, because what a story they could tell. Fuck you! What a bunch of sanctimonious bullshit. Why am I more upset about this? Why am I more angered about this? Again, it's not always about the fucking match quality. It's the fact that these two guys are going to be thrown into a meaningless match at what is shaping up to be a meaningless WrestleMania 31. And oh, I know what's going to come now. It's going to be a great match. It's going to be memorable. It's going to be a chance for Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler to steal the show. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? So that way they go bump and flip and kick. So that way either A, somebody else can win the belt. Or B, if they happen to win the belt, they'll be relegated to second tier importance. And don't you dare sit there and try and spin this bullshit on me, this yarn telling me that, oh, if Daniel Bryan won the belt or Dolph Ziggler won the belt, that would improve the belt. That would make it more meaningful. It would improve its prestige and significance. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, because every time Dolph Ziggler won the IC champion, that meant big things for him in his career, right? That improved the prestige, importance, and significance of both the champion and the title belt, right? And even if we want to go there with Daniel Bryan, let's be realistic here. Once he main evented and stole the show at WrestleMania 30, they relegated him to a feud with fucking Kane. They booked him as a second fiddle player, as second tier important, when he had just main evented the biggest show of the year and held the most important title in the company. What in the blue is the blue fucks makes you think that Daniel Bryan being the IC champion would anything other than the drizzling shit? What in the world makes you think and that in any way, shape, or form, Daniel Bryan being the IC champion would be good for the belt or good for him. What the fuck makes you think that that would improve the prestige, the significance, or the importance of the fucking title? Let's put it this way. At this point in time, Daniel Bryan is a less, less featured part of WrestleMania than The Miz. Who, while he should have his own one-on-one -on -one match against Miz down at WrestleMania, is being relegated to that clusterfuck that is going to be the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. But even in that case, with that said, they're still finding a way in this company to make The Miz a featured important part of the show, where they are making Daniel Bryan a complete fucking afterthought. Think about that. The big WrestleMania highlight for Daniel Bryan, and rightfully so, is going to be Saturday night at uh, the Hall of Fame ceremony when he's inducting Conor the Crusher Mahalik into the WWE Hall of Fame, giving him the Warrior Award. That's a tremendous moment. That's a tremendous honor that I'm sure Daniel Bryan appreciates greatly. And I can't wait to see that. But what about the actual show on Sunday? And what about after that fact? Dolph Ziggler being in that match is stupid. Daniel Bryan being in that match is stupid. 
Even though I was like, you know, Daniel Bryan versus Dolph Ziggler one-on-one at WrestleMania would be stupid too, and I kind of agree with that, because what the fuck would that be for Dolph Ziggler, what the fuck most certainly would that mean for Daniel Bryan? At least at that point in time, they would have had a one-on-one match. They would have had a chance to get some shine on them. They would have had a chance to do something. Now they are just two-bit players in a two-bit IC title match at WrestleMania. It's not always about the fucking match quality. And to use that argument is fucking stupid. And to sit there and try and tell me that this is going to somehow magically improve the significance, its prestige, and importance of this title is also fucking stupid. But what is the most stupid thing of all, to me anyways, to me, in my opinion, is the fact that so many of you seem to be okay with this. That so many of you are just accepting this. You're just rolling over and taking it. All that anger you had a month and a half ago, where the fuck is it now? If you had anything to be angry about, you were so petulant and bratty when Daniel Bryan didn't win the precious fucking Royal Rumble. Now, you can see why the WWE doesn't listen to you, because you don't even have to fight. You can't even be bothered to care. Where the fuck is your anger? Where the fuck is your outrage? Where's your voice? So many times you raise your volume about so many things, myself included. Why the fuck aren't you angry about this? Why aren't you upset about this? Why aren't you bothered by this? Why in the hell is it me, the guy who's not a fan of Dolph Ziggler or Daniel Bryan, more bothered by this than so many of you? Is it because you don't want to accept the reality? Is it because you buy into the bullshit that you hear other sheep and apologists make? It makes me sick when I see people that should know better, people involved with the business, that try to spin this as anything other than the absolute drizzling shit. Oh, well, what did it stand to reason that if Daniel Bryan won the... Oh, shut the fuck up! They didn't even book him like he mattered when he was a fucking world champion. But now, magically, he's going to be so much more important when he's the IC champion? Shit, they can't even be bothered to feature him as the most important part of this match. Our truth is the bigger deal. Our truth, frankly, is being booked better. Our truth is a more interesting and compelling character to the point where you would almost want, and I know I most certainly do at this point, want our truth to win that match at WrestleMania. That's what the WWE has decided to do with Dolph Ziggler and Daniel Bryan for WrestleMania 31. And so many of you are okay with this. Wake up, people. This is bullshit of the highest order. It doesn't mean that Daniel Bryan has to be in the main event, but he deserves some type of feature match at WrestleMania. And it most certainly doesn't mean that Dolph Ziggler should have been in the main event at WrestleMania 31. I'm not building my entire show around him. But it would be nice if he would have gotten some type of feature match I'm just saying. Instead, they get this. And yes, when it comes to WrestleMania 31, so many of you are going to sit there and talk about how oh, this was Match of the Night. This was fucking awesome. And, oh, sh like daddy, you can eat shit like you taste of it because Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler were awesome. And this match was awesome. No, it's not. It's a bunch of bullshit.